Hi everyone, I'm Katie and welcome to my channel. I apologize for my super red and sweaty appearance right now. I literally just finished the last workout of week five in the Sarah's Day Sweat It to Shred It program. So this is the lovely aftermath of that. If you haven't seen my previous video, I did a review of weeks one and two of the Sweat It to Shred It program. And in that video, I really broke down the different types of workouts in the program. Um, this video is gonna be a review of weeks three, four, and five. And then I'll do a video in a couple weeks doing the last three weeks of the program. So just a quick general overview of the program. There's a sweaty shredder workout each week, which is like a high intensity interval workout. There's a toning power workout, which is more slow and controlled using supersets to focus on specific muscles. And then there's a challenge and there's an activity. And those two switch week to week to kind of change it up, keep you on your toes, make it interesting, make it fun. So yeah, let's just get right on into the review. So week three, starting out, the sweaty shredder, I really didn't want to do it, but I got through it, so I was proud of myself for that. Nothing really special about it. The toning power was very legs focused, which I personally love. I love working out legs, so that was great for me. The one thing that really sucked was that there were wall squats or wall sits in this workout, which really hurt. The challenge for week three was 52 pickup, which is actually a really good workout. You basically take a deck of cards and each suit represents a different exercise and each number on the card is how many reps you do and for aces it's 12 reps and for face cards it's 10. The activity for week three was to go swimming. I decided to just skip this activity. I don't really have anywhere to go swimming right now and I didn't really know a good substitute. I did go on a little walk with Murphy that day but yeah I pretty much just skipped that one. So getting into week four, this is when the workouts start to ramp up. So if you look at the schedule, weeks four and five, you step up to doing five workouts a week instead of four. And then weeks six through eight, you're gonna do six workouts. So week four, the first sweaty shredder was definitely the hardest one yet. I'm really not sure if, I'm, if I did some of these exercises correctly specifically like the froggy squats. I don't know if I was doing that right. And then she has this exercise called an ab kick and I kind of started doing, I realized a corkscrew and I don't know if they're the same thing, but that's just kind of what I went with. The challenge, all the challenges every week are optional and this challenge was called like an ad break. So you're supposed to watch a TV show, and then whenever there's a commercial break, you do a specific exercise. But since I don't really watch traditional TV, I just kind of watch Netflix, I didn't really know what to do about this one, so I just skipped it since it was optional anyways. The toning power for week uh, four, I'm pretty sure it was the same as week one. It was a pretty good workout at this point. I didn't feel like I was getting very sore from these workouts anymore, but... <laughs> Oh, there was redemption in the second sweaty shredder of the week. It was so hard. I really didn't want to do it. When I looked at it, it was all of my least favorite exercises, so I was really not looking forward to it. My camera died, so I didn't get footage of every exercise, but I'm really proud I got through it, especially since there were more wall sits in this one, and I was able to get through all of them without taking any breaks, so that was a huge accomplishment for me. And the activity for this week was much needed and I'm very grateful that it was just to stretch. It was a rest and recovery day, so that was great. And then finally week five, the first sweaty shredder, nothing special, it was a really good workout. The challenge for this week was to do a 10 minute ab challenge. So it's literally 10 minutes straight of doing different ab exercises each minute you switch and there's multiple minutes where you're supposed to do a plank so it was pretty tough but I was able to do it while watching Clueless so you know anything to make it a little more enjoyable and this challenge is actually the same one that I did in week one and I feel like I did did a little better this time around so that was nice. The toning power was 
a lot of legs and abs and they were absolutely burning, especially after doing the 10 minute ab challenge the day before, my abs were on fire. It was really tough and I had to really slow down and take my time with all of these exercises to get through it. The second sweaty shredder of week five, I really didn't want to do it. I feel like there were a lot of exercises or workouts in these three weeks that I didn't really want to do, but hey, I, I managed to do them all. This particular one I didn't want to do because I was just in a bad mood and wasn't really feeling it, but I was able to push through, so it was, that was great. And lastly, the activity was supposed to be like a beach workout. You're supposed to do like sprints and then do different exercises in between the sprints. And I substituted sprints to just do stair sprints. I measured out like 20 to 30 stairs. There's a lot of stairs in my apartment complex. So I just did that instead of the sprints. And it was pretty good. I was able to get through the whole thing once. And then I just walked up and down the stairs a couple times. And yeah, that was the whole workout. So that was weeks three through five. As I mentioned, I feel like there were a lot of times where I did not want to do these workouts, but I pushed myself, especially since I knew I was filming this. I wanted to keep this review true for you guys and make sure I got through all that I could. So you guys really motivated me. I appreciate that. <laughs> and yeah, it was pretty good. I don't really know if there's that much of a physical improvement from these three weeks. I honestly can't tell just by looking at myself. I feel like I really haven't been eating the healthiest recently, but at the same time, I feel like my mentality is so much better. Like, even though I haven't been eating super healthy, I'm not beating myself up about it. I don't feel bad about it. I don't feel bad if I want to have an extra dessert or have dessert five days in a row. I really, just feel good and comfortable and energetic in my body. The other thing is I really don't find myself staring in the mirror as much as I used to. I used to like walk by a mirror and kind of stare at myself and just kind of obsess over if I was seeing any progress, if I could see any more definition in my abs or anything. And I feel like at this point doing these workouts, I'm not doing that as much. And I don't know if there's a different reason to it like maybe I'm just a little busier so I'm not really thinking about it I don't know but I feel like it did it definitely is partially attributed to these workouts and just feeling good in my body I'm really proud of myself actually for getting this far I've tried to do this program multiple times before and at one point I thought that getting through week five was the farthest I'd ever made it, but I was looking ahead at week six and I do actually recognize one of the workouts, so this is very close to the farthest I've ever gotten. I have never completed all eight weeks before, so I'm feeling very optimistic about it. My neighbors just started vacuuming upstairs. I'm so sorry. I think I'm just going to wrap it up here. All in all, still really enjoying it, really looking forward to getting through these last three weeks and feeling accomplished. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you guys are interested in doing this program and have any questions, just let me know. I'd be happy to answer them for you. And make sure you subscribe so you can see the next video when I review weeks six through eight. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.